Article 13 is part of a proposed change to the EU's copyright directive, with the intention of protecting the rights of copyright holders. Basically, the idea is that platforms that host user-uploaded content would be made liable for any copyright infringement by their users. That means a big change to the current system online platforms use. Right now, YouTube has a content ID system that allows copyright holders to claim ownership of content on the platform, and they get to decide what would happen to that video. It can be blocked in its entirety, or the copyright holder could allow the video to remain on the platform, but claim a portion of any profits that content earns via monetization. Article 13 changes this and puts responsibility for that content on the platform directly. There would be no opportunity for a notice to the user for a takedown. Instead, the platform would be held responsible from the moment that content is uploaded, and they would be penalised directly. YouTube have made their position on Article 13 clear. While they commend the goals of the proposed legislation to ensure copyright holders receive compensation for their work, the article in its current form will be damaging to the wider creator community. YouTube's existing content ID system, which relies on the copyright holders to flag infringements and allow YouTube to take the content down if requested, would not be adequate under the rules imposed by Article 13. YouTube would become financially liable for any copyright infringement at the point of upload, which essentially means they risk massive fines if any offending material does make it online. In a post to the YouTube Creators blog, YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki said, The potential liabilities could be so large that no company could take on such financial risk. As an example, Wojcicki talks about the official music video for Despacito. Though YouTube has agreements in place with many of the copyright holders to license and pay for the video on the platform, some of the copyright holders are unknown. If Article 13 came into effect in its current form, this uncertainty would mean YouTube would have to block the video from being shown within the EU in order to avoid being liable for any potential copyright issues. Residents of the EU accounted for more than 90 billion views on YouTube in the last month alone. If YouTube is forced to block video content in the EU, that affects content creators around the world. In a Q&A by the YouTube Creators Twitter account, the company stated that content created outside of the EU may be blocked from being viewed by European residents, and any creators within the EU could see their existing videos blocked and would be prevented from uploading any new content to the platform. The fundamental problem is this. There is no content filter in the world that would be able to tell the difference between someone uploading a blatantly infringing video with one that is a transformative piece of work. YouTube has over 400 hours worth of video uploaded to the platform every minute, which would be impossible to monitor manually. There is the potential for additional automated filters being added to the system, but when you consider the occasional overzealousness of the current content ID system, it's hard to imagine an automated filter that would work in a stricter copyright environment. This means music covers, parodies, theory videos, just about anything that has any kind of reference to a copyrighted work will be affected. PewDiePie's meme reaction videos, MatPat's game theory content, and fan animations of Critical Role livestreams could all be blocked in Europe. The risk to YouTube financially would be too great, so they're left with no other option but to prevent EU residents from seeing that content. Article 13 could force YouTube to restrict uploads to larger companies that can provide the copyrights to their content, and this could put thousands of people out of work. The EU accounts for 35 million creators on YouTube. We're not just talking about losing a huge chunk of an audience, but the ability to upload content from within Europe would be blocked. Suddenly you have vloggers, commentators, animators, and musicians unable to reach their audience they, in turn, will not be able to pay their editors and thumbnail artists. That's a lot of people who will be unable to pursue the work they love. What it all boils down to is this. The EU wants to crack down on copyright infringement and ensure that the rights holders receive fair compensation and protection for their work, and that is commendable. But Article 13 is not the right way to go about it. Trying to prevent unlawful uploads of pirated content is fine, but not if you end up punishing thousands of innocent creators and consumers in the process. I despise theft and piracy, and in no way do I support it, but the impact Article 13 in its current form will have on the creator community cannot be justified. Article 13 already passed an EU parliamentary vote in September, but that doesn't mean it's coming into effect just yet. The final wording of the directive must still be decided upon by the European Commission, Council and Parliament, before being voted on again in January 2019. As this vote occurs just before the European Parliament elections in May, MEPs may be more likely to listen to their constituents ahead of this vote. 
If you want to know more about Article 13 and what it could mean for content creators, you can head on over to youtube.com forward slash saveyourinternet for a breakdown of how it will affect the platform, or go to saveyourinternet.eu for more information on the article itself and how the European Parliament voted in September. Links are in the description below. Prevent the death of creativity and save your internet.